Hello and welcome. I might have just been covering up the microphone. I'm Eliza Barr, your host, and we're going to unbox this box. It's got comic books in it. Uh, it's actually a short box I bought uh, from Alterna Comics, you can see. Uh, the short box costs about as much as the comics that are in here. Uh, at least I think my comics are in here because this came in another bigger box, and that other box just had this in it. So if my comics aren't in here, then I got ripped off, or there's another box coming or something, and I will have to go investigate that. So let's open this up. This is exactly how it came, so let's see what's in here. Alright, so I got a box in another box, and now that box has a bag in it, it looks like. Let's get this paper out of here. And that bag looks like it's got some comics or something in it. Oh, little puppy blanket because Phantom likes to sit in this chair. So naturally, it has a puppy blanket. So some cardboard sandwiching it. All right, so we got plastic to take off. Some like cling wrap stuff, man. Uh, you're going to get like some really crazy camera angles as I open this up because I got to use both hands. When I say we about got it, which I don't even know if you heard, because my phone decided to just stop recording at that moment in time. Oh man. Hold on, I got scissors here somewhere. Yeah, plastic. You think you're going to defeat me? This is a real unboxing, man. Some people would like, they go to unbox and that stuff is already. Like, all pristine and ready to go. This is... I can't even cut this. Holy crap. I need to use my knife, I guess. I should probably do this right-handed, because I have more strength and control with my right hand than I do my left. Alright. Camera shifted over. Remember, always cut away, never towards. I can't cut this shrink wrap. Holy moly. Yeah. This is kind of embarrassing. Use my hand. There we go. Alright, finally, can I look at some dang comic books? No, because they're wrapped up even more. Alright, well, I'm going to pause for a second and we'll come back and I'll have this unpacked and we can take a look at it. Alright, I got some totally sweet swag here. I got a little Alterna Comics pin. I don't know if you can see that. Autofocus doesn't seem to be focusing too well. Let me press that button. This was like one of the two things I wanted to buy for sure was too much glare. Uh, Mother Russia. And the other is Scrimshaw. And there should be like four issues of Scrimshaw inside this thing. I'll be right back. I just saw that pin and I'm like, I got to show you guys that pin. Man, every time I turn around, there's just more swag here. They gave me a cool little sticker. But uh, yeah, the good stuff. Here we go. So graphic novel, Mother Russia, zombies, little baby, should be awesome. If you're a fan of the background, because I turned my fan on, it's a little warm in here. Uh, so that's cool. My phone actually died in the middle of this, and it's plugged in charging right now. So hopefully nothing else happens. Um, oh, it must be an iron-on patch. That's cool. Uh, I got the chair. This look kind of interesting. I don't really know what it's about, but uh, I saw of, like the cover of the first issue, and I was like, oh, man, i got to check that out. This is what I was in it to buy. Scrimshaw here. It's autofocus. There we go. So it looks super cool. Uh, you can see my sock there. And it's all printed on newsprint, like this publishing company. Come on, focus. Uh, that's what they do. It's printed on newsprint like comics used to be. No glossy, no nothing. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. And you can check out right here. Look at that. The price point. Turn out of focus back on. Okay, focus on the number. How's this so hard? Right there. Buck fifty. Like for the price. Oh my god, that one's just a dollar. Look at that. For the price of what a comic book from Marvel costs, I can get like three of these things. 
So even if I only get like a third of the enjoyment, which Marvel is terrible these days, I can't read the comics. I've looked at a couple and they're just terrible. They're bad. That, that's the only way to put it. They are B-A-D bad. I don't even know what Trespasser is. I just bought like these bundles that were like, everything published in this month. Cyborgs, pirates, cutthroats. I mean, this is like everything I like. Uh, here's Mother Russia in uh, single comic form. I don't know if it's the same thing as is in the graphic novel. I don't care. It's so cool. Yeah, this is the cover I saw for The Wicked Righteous that made me think, oh, this might be fun to read. Like, I'm not sure what's going on here. But it looks kind of cool. So I am very much looking forward to checking that out. Uh, then there were like some... Uh, I think this is... Wow, autofocus. You just really got blurry. I think this one is uh, like kid-focused. Uh, so is this one. Like I was looking around for something I could get uh, my nephew. And I saw these. And I was like, I'm going to check this out. It's supposed to be, uh, it's like in their kid-friendly range, and they don't really make comics for kids that aren't stupid, like Archie Comics. And I thought, you know, this looks like exactly the kind of thing I would have liked when I was his age. So, uh, maybe looking at potential, oh god, I hope he doesn't watch this, maybe looking at potential Christmas presents here. Oh, I think Trespasser was like, uh, young adult focus, like, uh, for teenagers. Another issue of Mother Russia. And let me just kind of put this down here and just shovel the comics in front of the camera here. That just looks adorable. Terrifying and adorable. I like it. I don't know anything about Croak. Here's another issue of Amazing Age. So it must be like some kind of... Oh man, there's way too much glare here. I apologize for all the glare from overhead light. Total like some kind of sci-fi adventure thing. I dig it. I dig it so much. I don't even know, man. This is just cool. I remember when comics used to be fun. Whatever happened to that? Now comics are just full of political crap and you can't read them. Hopefully we don't get a whole lot of that political crap here. You gonna focus? No. There you go. So the last couple, Croak, another issue of Lilith Dark, and Mr. Crypt, which I have no idea about. And then we got the box that all this stuff came in. It's really cool. I'm really excited to get a chance to read all this. Who knows when I'll get actually get to do that. Uh, and it was all because I saw a video on the YouTubes, and it was like, huh? Buck fifty issues, you know. I mean, this whole load here, all these comics, and there's a bunch of them plus the graphic novel. So, I mean, this is a lot of reading material here. Hey, autofocus. You want to actually focus so I don't have to manually do it? There we go. That's like what twenty issues or something plus a graphic novel, uh, plus the short box to keep all this stuff in, which is down here on the floor. All that stuff cost me like plus 10 bucks shipping and handling or something. It's like 80 bucks. If these were Marvel comics, that's like 200 bucks worth of comics right there. And that's not even counting the graphic novel. So, uh, hold on. Let me pause and I'll spread all this stuff out here. Make it like a little display. So, there we go. There's everything I got, man. I am super hyped to read all this. I think it's going to be a great time. Uh... When I get done, it's all going to go into the short box up there to keep it in. Uh, well, maybe not the sticker. I'll probably put that sticker on something cool. But, uh, yeah, look at this, man. This is... Get my foot out of the picture. Like, 80 bucks worth of stuff from this publisher. Uh, printed on newsprint. Buck, buck 50 an issue. Uh, I am just hype. Most of the issues are like a buck 50. The chair... Uh, which I think they republished or something in support of uh, like a movie release. Uh, it's like a dollar an issue. Uh, it's super cool. There's a lot of stuff here. And at least some of it is going to be worth reading. Some of it probably won't be. 
I won't know until I start reading it, you know? Maybe I find out that Mr. Crypt isn't my jam, or I find out that Scrimshaw with its cyborgs, pirates, cutthroats, and mercs just isn't as cool as I thought it was. But I don't care. For $1.50, it's like... That's what you spend at a vending machine to get a Coke these days, you know? So, it's totally... Uh, an acceptable price point to try something new. And I'm trying a whole lot of new things here. There's like six, seven, eight different comic book series in this mix. Uh, I'm excited. I'm so excited. I'm going to probably start reading Scrimshaw as soon as I stop recording here. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time. You have a great day. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, bye-bye.